Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Figure Study, where we have, in fact, been known to appreciate the form in Transformers. And today, I am going to be taking a look at Stockade from the original Transformers movie. And there's a cat hair on the hood there. I'm so sorry. So, Stockade, Stockade, you hold still. This guy is... he is interesting. He is a... Uh, you know, pretty nondescript, evil-looking SUV. You know, the kind you'd see in a government agency type deal. Decent amount of uh, detail. Some nice, interesting-looking uh, hubcaps there. They actually have the door handles painted, which is really interesting. And, uh, yeah, some, some nice detail all around. He's a Decepticon. Yeah, I mean, like molding is kind of nondescript because he's just an SUV, but the you know the distribution of the paint is actually pretty nice. Like the tail lights are nice and uh, picked out. The wheels have color on them. The, like I said, the the actual door handles are painted, which is impressive. <laughs> Pardon me. You got the grill there. Uh, no painted lights on the front here, but he does have the semi-translucent plastic that's the same for the windows for the headlights. And uses this same plastic. Is that a scuff on there? Oh, that's a shame. Uses the same plastic all the way around except for these rear side windows, which is funny because, like, the actual rear windows have that same plastic too. So I don't really know why they didn't go all the way around. I mean, he's even got a freaking skylight that's in that tr semi translucent plastic. It's kind of hard to tell because it's so close to black. It's just such a dark blue, but. Seriously, we do the skylight, but we can't do these back here. And, eh, whatever. But yeah, he's, uh, he's a nice-looking SUV that has two gas caps. I just realized that. He's got one there and one there. That's uh, odd. But anyway, yeah, it's just, you know, again, good-looking, nondescript, evil SUV. This is the kind of thing you'd see, uh, you know, driving in a single file and tailgating. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a stereotypical evil SUV look. It's not bad. And the uh, robot mode is blissfully, reasonably well hidden. I mean, this you know, you still have legs, obviously, but you could argue, hey, that's suspension. I don't know. Yeah. So, not bad. You can also, if it's bright enough, see all the way through. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, his, his alt mode looks pretty good. You can technically also raise the hatch in the back but that's just for transformation it looks kind of weird so he looks nice but let's take a look at him in robot mode because that's where the real interest is so stockades robot mode is where the interestingness is he is very very <laughs> awkwardly proportioned with the somewhat stumpy legs and huge arms and torso. Well, I mean, the legs aren't necessarily stumpy, but in proportion, they are very stumpy. It's not bad, though. It's it's interesting. And, you know, there's definitely a lot of color hiding away inside that vehicle mode, which he, uh, thankfully, he wears pretty well. Like, it makes up most of his arms. At least the top of it makes up most of his arms, which is it's not great, but it's all right. And there's some on the back of the calves, but then on his actual back, there's no actual, uh, not really any kibble. But how cool is this? This I thought was really fantastic, how the uh, door panels from the side of the SUV, you can see that weird little cube there, they actually fold up over the wheels, and those combined with the wheels actually give him some pretty pronounced shoulder blades, which is pretty cool. I mean, if you're looking at him from the back anyway. So yeah, he's, uh, you know, pretty well done. Some not bad use of color with the lighter blue, the black, the darker gray, lighter gray. It's it's a nice balance. I mean, the shins, like the feet to the shins are way too, like, okay. I mean, looking at the arms, you've got paint here and a lot of color variation, a lot of paint in the chest, or, you know, decent amount of paint anyway. And then for the legs, it's just like a little bit there, and that's it. So his legs just kind of look a little bit bare compared to everything else. But eh, you know, I'm not going to get too worked up over it. 
I'm not entirely sure if I'm really in love with the uh, the flaps here, though. Because, I mean, these are fine. You can fold them up if you don't like them sticking out like that. And it's fine. It's whatever. These don't so much bother me. It's these. Because these look silly if they're sticking out. But if you fold them in, then he just has these car windows over his fists. Which I don't particularly like either. So it's kind of a lose-lose. I don't, I don't really know why they wanted to do that. Well, for the rest of them, it's okay. I do think it's a little strange that they decided to put his Decepticon logo on his left thigh, as opposed to, say, anywhere on his chest. But whatever. It is what it is. Now, the actual detail is pretty nice. Uh, he could definitely do with more posability in the arms, though. But uh, yeah, there's some, some nice detail on the inside of the forearms and the tops. Some uh, little bit of detail on the inside of the uh, shoulder chest area here. And of course the chest. And he's got his sort of nondescript robot face. Which, it's a nice looking robot face, but it just kind of looks... I don't know, it's devoid of personality. It's a little unremarkable. You know, it just doesn't seem to... Yeah, it, it makes him look almost like a mindless drone, which he may be. I don't particularly know the story behind this character, but, I mean, you know, you've got some nice detail on the inside here. Some nice detail on the thighs. I do like that this, like this little overlaid armor plate pattern here on the thighs. That's pretty cool. And I like that color kind of picking it out. And there's some nice detail. There's nice detail all over this figure. It's just you can't really see most of it because of the the lack of paint in the legs and a lot of it's on dark plastic. But still cool. And I still love this. Like this is this is some cool detail on these back shoulders too. And even if I put these in a little bit, it's even got like a little bit of a spine looking thing there. So yeah, there's a lot of cool little details to this guy. I'm just not entirely sold on the proportions and these silly hand flaps but you know he's he's one of the earlier movie toys you know and he does have this thing and if you flip this back his fist shoots out yay and it doesn't really do much and it just makes his arms even more awkwardly long but still, they even went so far as to mold some detail on the inside of the extendo fists. And he's got, I'm actually surprised, a figure this size actually has posable fingers. Well, vaguely posable fingers. But yeah, I just uh, feel like the proportions are a bit odd. Paint could definitely have been applied a little bit more around here and I don't understand why this is a thing that can be done like they even they molded detail inside so it's sort of like maybe that was intentional but why 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 is this a thing that you can just pull off it's that armor or if you want to call it that the chest piece whatever it is I can't even line it up now come on I pull this thing on and off all the time. Why is it not? There we go. So like when this is in place, all you're seeing is this little divot down here. So when you pull this out, you can see like this detail up here, the stuff on the sides. You're not really seeing that. So why did they mold all of that in and then put this weird removable chest piece on it? I don't understand. And it doesn't really do him much good in vehicle mode to take that out either because then he's missing part of the back of his car mode. But anyway, I mean, he's not hes not a terrible looking figure. He's actually got a lot of really interesting stuff going on. I'm just not super into the proportions or the weird arm flaps. If these could have folded back a little bit more, like the ones on the shoulders, fine, whatever, those don't bother me. But like if these could have just folded back a little bit more, that would have like, you know, have him maybe life flush with the arm or something that would be much nicer because these just kind of no matter how you do it they don't really look all that good but yeah i mean for a fairly generic looking 
Transformer, he's not bad. He's, you know, on the simple side, but overall his style, the, the you know, little details and stuff are very, kind of, they're pretty cool. He's just, you know, a little too simple for his own good, I think. But that's neither here nor there. Ultimately, he looks pretty nice. So anyway, that has been my look at Stockade from the original Transform, the original Michael Bay Transformers movie. Thank you, everybody, for watching. As per usual, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Any combination of those three will make me a happy Rob. And remember, art is more than meets the eye.